Hey everyone, it's Matt. Rapu's products have been growing in popularity over the last few months, and now they're available in Canada exclusively at Best Buy. Today I'm going to show you four of their products, and then quickly show you within this video about a fifth product that's also growing in popularity. We have two wireless optical mouse and keyboard sets here in the back, and then we've got two wireless optical mice in the front. So let's start to unbox and take a look at it all. Let's get things started with the Rapu 7800P wireless laser mouse. It is the working mouse of my dreams. <laughs> you see at my office we have all sorts of meeting room tables with different surfaces, we have a couple with glass overlaid and have to keep bringing notebooks or pieces of paper in the room with us in there at all times to function as mouse pads. It's an absolute pain. So this is what I did. I took it to work. I took the 7800P into meetings with me in this glass table room for a couple days and was surprised to see how well it worked on glass surfaces without the need for mouse pads or pieces of paper buffering in between. The mouse is no larger than the size of your normal mouse, but its ergonomic shape means that you won't be closing your hands in and gripping uncomfortably. With a good mix of fully customizable buttons and a tilting mouse wheel, the 7800P is a great option for the recreational gamer or, in my case, the office professional that deals with all sorts of weird surfaces. Next up is the Rapu 7100P 5G wireless mouse. It's a far simpler looking mouse on the surface and is probably catered to more everyday internet browsing use. In the bit you see here, it's the one on the left. I just put the 7800P out there for comparison sizing. It's got a lot of interesting features that you wouldn't expect from a regular run-of-the-mill mouse and some that set it apart from its competition for sure. One of the things I like the most about this mouse is the invisible laser. The invisible laser on the 7100P means that you don't have to be blinded in the dark when your mouse suddenly stops working and your immediate reaction is to flip it over and take a look at the underside. Look, we've, we've all been there, right? The Rapu 7100P takes an interesting look at functionality from the case itself as well. We're no strangers to mice padding at the bottom wearing out, causing sticky friction and leaving weird sticky marks on your desktop that you have to clean. Rapu has specifically designed this mouse not to need any additional padding, and has also created as dustproof a case as possible in the process. Doesn't affect the performance, it glides just as smooth as ever. It also sounds like Rapu did a lot of 3D printing around this to make a lot of different prototype cases and make this work until they got it right, and they did. It's time to take a look at a couple of Rapu's combo keyboard and mouse packs, starting with the 1830 keyboard and mouse combo. Both the keyboard and the mouse are spill resistant, which is helpful for me since my laptop sits on the coffee table in our living room. Wireless Combo did allow me to HDMI link to my TV while having a keyboard at the table and was definitely helpful knowing that I could break every rule I was taught growing up around having a snack or a drink near the computer. Okay, seriously, remember how many times you were lectured as kids? I remember saying that when I was like 9 years old that I wished somebody would make a spill-proof keyboard. Well, Matt of the early 90s, we're almost there. Alright, back on topic, the set has a radius of a 10 meter comfortable range, meaning that it's a full 360 degree pickup area. The keyboard itself has really soft functioning keys and felt really comfortable to type on. It's also a decent sized keyboard while remaining really lightweight. There are function keys across the top for media players, though I admit I didn't really use them that much, simply because I've never really taken advantage of them on any keyboard I've ever used. No reason, maybe that's just me rejecting the conveniences of modern technology, I guess. The mouse has a bit of a contour to it, made for comfortable navigation and use. While it wasn't as comfortable as the 7800P mouse, I did find it to be better for my hands than the 7100P, so there you go. While the set functions off one USB dongle and is a 2.4GHz set rather than the 5GHz set of the mice reviewed, I still had no issues with signal trouble or latency between the devices and my laptop. Last up, and maybe the best for last, is the Rapu 8200P 5G keyboard and mouse combo. It takes a lot of the features of the 1830 and beefs it up. The combo still features that same trusty spill resistance of its little brother, but features a separate set of media buttons and a more traditional keyboard look and feel. The thing I appreciated about the 8200P over the 1830 was that there were still separate battery compartments for both the mouse and keyboard. Call me traditional or call me weird, but I like my separate devices having separate battery lives. In this case, the mouse has a battery life of 12 months, and the keyboard should last slightly longer. One thing of note is for you lefties now, I was wondering why this mouse had similar contours on both sides, and then realized that it's fully ambidextrous, so you're able to set it up for left-handed use as you see fit. This is also a better build over the 1830 for gamers. You can switch your mouse between 500 and 1000 dpi at your heart's content, as well as take advantage of the similar tracking quality that you can find from the 7100 and 7800 P mice. After reviewing both, I have to say that I admit for my needs, the 1830 was a more comfortable keyboard, but only because again, I don't use media hotkeys very much in this day to day, and preferred the generously sized spacebar on the previous. Again, clumsy fingers, I've said that in a lot of my reviews over time. Still, I believe that this combo is the much better option for fringe or dedicated gamers. You get better mileage out of the presentation space of this keyboard than you would the 1830. 
All right, so before I let you go, it's bonus preview time. Just wanted to talk quickly about the Rapu 9060 Blade Series wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Wasn't in my review pack here, which is why I'm using more stock images, but I admit that it's one that I've been looking at well before Rapu came to Canada. Going to take a closer look at it now that it's available at Best Buy. I've been looking for a smaller and thinner keyboard to keep at the office, and this is going to be the answer to it. My fingers are really clumsy, again, mentioning that again for like the third time this review, but they keep slipping the trackpad on my laptop as I go from meeting to meeting. Been looking for a lightweight solution to take into meetings with more of a full-size keyboard along with my laptop that doesn't make me look like I'm trying to carry half my desk across the building. Rapu 9060, I think you're the answer to those prayers. This 2.4 GHz wireless set features one of the thinnest keyboards I've ever seen. At its thinnest, it's only 5.6 mm thick, weighs next to nothing while retaining the same media function keys and a full number pad. What's most impressive besides this uh, modern stylish look is that the battery life is an astounding two years. My current wireless mouse that I have for my laptop at home goes through two AA batteries in six months. Okay, I'm, I'm sold. So I'm going to go get one of these and maybe we'll meet back in the future for another review. With functionality catered to all audiences, sleek looks, and a price point that won't make you think twice, Rapu products are now available at Best Buy. Check out the full range of Rapu products now available starting at bestbuy.ca. I'm Matt. Subscribe to this channel for tons more reviews like this one. Check out Shelly with her unique spin on her smart farmhouse, all sorts of fun gadgets with Leo, or all the latest in gaming with Paul and John. It's been a pleasure. We'll catch you next time.